Well, welcome back to base camp, WNC. Like I said, we're on this pumping spring water project that's been sitting in my phone for a good while. And uh, this episode right here, we're going to show you how to put a water expansion tank together, how to plumb everything on this thing, and what the gauge is for, the pressure switch, the relief valve, faucet, shutoff valve. We'll go into a little bit of detail on all that kind of stuff. And then keep watching the series, and then you'll see the, the last video. We're going to be putting it all together, the whole system. Stay tuned, and we'll start to build. Okay, we're going to set. I'm going to show you the build on the pressure tank. This is the T. And we're going to put this valve here to be able to let water off. This is a pop-off valve. This is just like one you have on your hot water heater. So if the pump sticks on before it blows up the pipes in your house, this thing is preset and it lets the water out here before it damages your house. You want a valve on the outflow side so that if you have a problem, you can shut the water off without having to lose all the pump pressure and have to move all that water that's in the tank. This little piece of thing will go in here. Pressure switch goes up on here and the pressure gauge will screw in there. And as I said before, I like doing two wraps with a Teflon tape, then coat everything with a joint compound. This T right here has gotta be a certain size because it will depend on where the fitting is in here. And this one's gonna be right there. As soon as I take the plastic plug out. But they come five inches long, six inches long, 12 inches long. This one came 10, supposed to be for a kit, a little bit longer than it needs to be, but it'll be right. So let me lay this thing down and I'll start showing you how to put this thing together. So with the tank laid down, remove the shipping plug, keeps dirt and critters from crawling up in there. We'll go ahead and Teflon the joints and everything that's in the way and start putting this thing together. So here it is. I got the ends I need taped up. I got my pipe sealer on them. We'll stick this thing in here one-handed. I think. Maybe not. So, start the little pipe nipple in here. And I'll put the pressure switch on top. Now I get my channel locks and tighten this in here. And then on that nut up here, I'll put a crescent wrench on there. I'll put a wrench on there and tighten them up. Then I'll go ahead and screw in the pressure switch here, or the uh, pressure gauge. I'll put the valve here for water coming out, and I'll put the pop-off right here. Well, here it is assembled on the water expansion tank. The water from the well will be coming in here from the one that sticks out of the end of that PVC pipe. It'll go around, come out of the tank, come in here, it will then expand, and in this tank is a diaphragm across it, and it actually stretches that diaphragm up and retains the pressure in that thing. It acts like a balloon. You have a pressure gauge here, because like this switch here is preset 40 to 60. So when you're running water, shut the water off, it goes up to 60 pound of pressure and cuts off. You start flowing the water, you gotta go all the way down to 40 before it'll kick back on, okay? And then you have here, just a faucet, really, I mean, I guess you could run a hose off, it's really made just to drain this tank down if you need to drain it in the wintertime or just drain it. 
you didn't have a shut off valve. So if you have a problem up in the house, you can go down here and shut this off. Cause this thing here is a 48 gallon tank and it'll pump 48 gallons of water just in the tank. It expand that much expansion water before it'll ever go. So you can cut this off to the house. And then this line here is what goes up to the house or in this case to his water supply line. I got one other thing up on top I want to show you is an air valve and it's 40 to 60. So it won't go on till it's 40 pounds of pressure. So you need to have like 38, 7, 38 pound of pressure in this tank. If you have more, well, it'll never go to, if you have 41 pound of pressure, the switch will never come on because it's always got 41 pound of pressure pushing on it. So let me show you that air valve. And what that helps in is if your pump comes on and shuts off and comes on and shuts off. One, that's the size of this volume tank. You may need a bigger tank. If the tank is good, you can actually put another tank right alongside it. And you would actually put one on this side where it comes in from the pump to this tank, that tank. So if you don't want to be able to, you want to be able to have more water without your well running, because what kills a well pump is switching on, switching off, switching on, switching off. So you can buy a bigger tank. If you ever watch my channel much, I'll show you the irrigation at the farm. We have three of these tanks in line that are like 30 inches in diameter and six foot tall, and they're like, I don't know, sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars a piece. So you don't want to get, you don't need to throw this tank in the shed and get a bigger one. You can get one, put it right alongside, and just have two in series. It still works. So let me show you this air valve. And like I said, with this system, this switch being 40 to 60, you want about 38 pound of pressure in that tank. And let me put this tank down and I'll show you where it is. Here it is, right here below this cap. And there it is, it's regular air chuck valve. You can check it with a regular tire pressure gauge. You can put air in it from your compressor or a air tank. If you're watching my channel, you're some kind of homesteader or prepper and you should have an air tank or some way of filling up your tires. This is the same thing. Put your tire gauge on that thing. And if it's too high, push down on that little valve stem, let some air out until it gets down to 38 pound of pressure. That's all it is. If your well pump right now, you're watching this and your well pump cycles on and off. You may have lost some air pressure. The tank could be bad, but you can check that air. If your turn on pressure, let's say you have a 30 to 50 pound switch and it comes on at 30 pounds, well, you want to have 28 pound of pressure in that tank. And you can just take an air compressor and charge it back up to 28 pound of pressure. Well, that concludes the assemble of the air tank. Like I said, we're going to have another videos here all in series, installing the big tank and setting the pumps in and doing this and hooking the whole system up and running wires and all that kind of good stuff. I'll keep throwing little tidbits of information here and there to you. But as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and stay tuned for the next one. I thank you for watching.